Okay, <clears throat> so today we're going to dabble into the common tasks of um, you know securing your page against uh, spam. So you might have like a contact form or whatever. So a pretty common way of doing that is a recapture from Google. Uh, I personally um, would opt for H capture. There are multiple reasons why uh, to do so. So first of all, the uh, uh, most prevalent reason is of course that uh, the data that Google collects is uh, pretty massive and you might want to protect your visitors from uh, disclosing basically all of their habits and um, the second reason is you're feeding into a system that basically trains AI for free and age capture basically uh, lets you participate in that which means that age capture itself uh, provides you with a system where when people actually solve captures for you you can earn money uh, from that or or donate that if if uh, that's also an option you can do so um, and uh, yes that's basically uh, keep spots out earns you money and is privacy conscious and this is basically a uh, neon 3 implementation you can use that outside of neon 3 we will do so today and uh, basically walk through um, yeah the complete uh, setup so first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna require this age uh, captcha plugin here um, f so I'm going to simply say composer require and uh, that is neon3 apps h captcha did I write that correctly I hope so did not apparently H captcha okay there we go nope um okay where is the okay I'm literally too stupid to write this H cap so, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, and actually, in that case, I'm fine with getting the latest master. Yeah, typos are a thing. So, meanwhile, um, if you don't have an age capture um, account, so what you do is you go to age capture and um, basically uh, sign up here and uh, I've already done that of course and uh, here you can by the way just see how it works and uh, we're gonna actually skip that for now and just not do that at all so um, normally what you get is uh, basically you know you get your sign up process and so on and then uh, you can start from there so what we're going to do in our case, we've got this installed now. Let's uh, start by creating an HTML file and uh, call that index. Uh, that was probably test. So let's uh, get this script here from HCapture and uh, create a very basic form. Uh, so let's actually do this to test PHP and I'm going to post something here and here um, I'm probably going to have a simple input form text will be fine and name will be message that should be fine and then we're going to say label for message is whoops message and that ID doesn't exist yet so yep we're gonna call that message perfect and then we're gonna have a input type submit again very ugly it's not about HTML here and value is send that's fine so next thing we want to do is we can we can there are a couple of things you can set up um, for our very simple purposes uh, the only thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a class hCapture 
into this form and uh, basically provide it with a uh, data site key. Now, I already have a data site key. Um, that's what you get is in, uh, basically a secret and in, in a site key uh, if you sign up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right jump into setting this up and uh, I'm going to create a new file for that and that's our receiving end. And what did we call it? Test PHP. Let's do that. And um, so first thing we need is of course uh, we're going to require our auto load from Composer and um, basically say okay so if um, is set post and we called it message I think okay then we execute here so actually what we're gonna do now for the very beginning is uh, we're just gonna var dump and die the um, Neon3 apps H capture um, is human. So this will give us a true or false. And uh, uh, in that case, I need to fake this a little bit. And I need to set up my invari variables too. So I'm going to say set environment. And again, um, there are only two things I really need. You will find in this description here that the, the API key is also given. This is if you want to get your, your statistics and so on. So in my case, I'm just fine with my site key. And, and my secret. Okay, so let me quickly steal that from my actual stuff so we can test it. So this would be my secret. And from sites, let me see where that is. And this would be my site key. OK, so that's fair enough. The site key, I actually can, might as well post into my actual form here. OK, so. If we want to test all of this locally, we have the problem that the refer will be localhost. That's uh, a problem. So the easiest way to overcome that is if you use your host file on Windows um, to overcome this issue. So how do we do that? Uh, you open that as an administrator if uh, you have a regular user account on your Windows. And uh, I'm going to simply get my local host to neon3.video and uh, gonna save that accordingly and uh, let's quickly test that uh, local host no sorry uh, neon3.video there we go uh, so that's my local uh, ZAMP uh, so in that case what I want to do is I call this video so let's call it video as well okay and we can see it's already running here that should be fine so let's simply test it and say sure uh, let's try to solve this riddle here Okay, so this automatically translates to German for me, but uh, that should be fine. So let's test it, and I see I get the Boolean true, which means in our test file, um, we now basically have uh, our verification that we're human. So let's uh, just do one more test and, and actually fail. Um, Oh, actually, it already saved. Okay, so we're too late for that. Um, so in, in any kind of real-life application, I would probably have something like this, where I say, okay, if this is true, and H capture, I'm sorry, H capture, where are you? Here, is human, and then here do my stuff, right? Where I now say uh, what, whatever I really want to do. So let's say I'm going to send an email there or whatever. Or you know what? Let's make it simple. Are you human? OK. 
Okay. So let's quickly try out if we visit that like this and say test.php. This shouldn't do anything. And if I go back and oh, and actually, you know what? Let's put the message here as well. Okay. And I can see my message here as well. And that's how easy it can be. It's really straightforward, super simple. And uh, you have a lot of different things you can do um, in, you know, like, like theming it and, uh, you know, when, when it renders and so on. And so this gives you basically a um, um, very easy implementation of, um, of age capture and will also provide you with, um, if you already have um, recapture, you will notice that uh, you basically can already use the same implementation. There's really not much in markup you need to change, and uh, that's basically, um, yeah, the gist of it. I mean, I don't really want to make this a complicated video, just keep it as simple as possible, and um, uh, hope, hope you enjoy and utilize it. Thank you very much.